Hello, I'm in the, the Keys uh, pub here in the Latin Quarter in Galway City and uh, I'm here with my three sisters and we're just going to have um, a bite to eat a dinner. So this is the Latin, the, quite, the key, Keys pub here. There's a, a picture of Amy de Valera there. Irish beef stew here in uh, the Key Pub in the Latin Quarter and the restaurant's called the Galway Girl Restaurant here, right? So that stew, stew dinner here with a mash and the slice of brown bread is 16 euros and I'm after getting some tea here as well. Okay. Well, hello people. Welcome to Galby City here. I'm in the Latin Quartet here. This is the real tourist part of Galby City here. All the pubs and restaurants and shops here. So uh, yeah, I'm over here at my three sisters. Came over for a spin there today. And uh, we're after having the spuds. And um, so just, I, I, we just be split, be split up there. So we're gonna meet up again at four o'clock, so. I'm just going to do it on a walk about down this street here. This is the real tourist uh, street here if you're in if you're in Galway City, okay? There's the Guinness pub there. Cladded jewellers. So if you're looking for the cladder ring rings and that, that's where you get shops like this here. So this is the King's Head pub here. I think this pub is about 800 years old. Um, just read it on the plaque over here, right? Um, yeah, look at this, the, King, the King's Head. This building is over 800 years old and retains many of its original medieval features. It was once home to a mayor of Galway, Thomas Lynch Fitz Ambrose, until it was seized from him by Colonel Peter Stubbers following the surrender of Galway to Cromwell's invading forces in 1653. Stubbers is thought to have been responsible for the beheading of King Charles the First of England in 1649. So if you're looking to buy original Allen woolen knitwear, like jumpers and stuff, this shop here is the shop to come to. It's called Galway Woolen Market. And look, here's jumpers here for 54 euros each. See this, look. Nice designs, aren't they? Lovely.
So this is a shop here that's called T. Dillon and Son, right? Established in 1750 and it's home of the original Clada rings, right? So the hands are for friendship, the heart is for love and loyalty is shown with the crown up above. So there's the Clado ring, my friends. Very famous Clado ring. So you can buy that in that shop there. So this shop here, just looking at here, it was built, well the building was built in 1580, right, and it was restored in 1980, uh, and it's called Wooden Heart. It looks nice, doesn't it? As you can see, my friends, this is a real tourist street along here, right? And um, if you're into Irish music, or as I call it, diddly idle do music, um, this is the place to come, my friends. Loads of, loads of entertainment, pubs, plain music, traditional Irish music. You'll hear Christy Moore, you'll hear the Dubliners, you'll hear like loads of Irish traditional uh, bands and folk songs being played in all these pubs and also some of these pubs will have actually traditional Irish musicians playing in them at times and as you can see there there's, there's always street people playing on the streets you know, or street musicians playing on the streets as well so there you go into Aran Island uh, sweaters and jumpers and stuff. This is the place to come, my friends, in Galway. Beautiful, look at that. So, if you want to buy an Aran woolen hat, uh, in this shop here on Galway, it's 29 euros 95, so we'll say 20 euros for a hat, right? Here's some lovely jumpers, look.
but there's a cafe here called the Borger Story, um, and it's after winning uh, McKenna's Best in Ireland 2018 and 2019, right here. So this is the Spanish Wall here in Galway City and I'll just read information about it here for you, right? So the Spanish Arch is a bulwark constructed as an extension to the medieval town walls. Completed in 1584, it was built to protect and defend the quays from which Galwegians traded extensively with Britain, Europe and beyond. It was originally known as Kian Onbala in Irish meaning head of the wall, but over time has become better known as a Spanish arch. The wall stands to a height of six metres over ground level and incorporates a line of machicolis, a defensive feature through which stones or bile and liquids could be dropped on attackers at the base of the wall. A pictorial map of the 1650s shows the bulwark with four arches of which only two survive. Uh, the Spanish ar arch and the blind arch, so called because you cannot see through it. It also depicts battlements over the arches and five cannon facing seawards. At that time, the sea ran right up to the base of the wall, which later was damaged by the tsunami that followed the devastating Lisbon earthquakes of 1755. The Spanish arch is today one of Galway's most recognisable landmarks and bears testament to its importance as a medieval seaport. So there's kind of a picture of from way back off the arch. But that's really a here. So there you go. I don't think there's much in it, right? But that's the the, the famous Spanish arch from medieval times, my friends. <laughs> Right, just looking here at this is a, I don't know what it's a B&B, &B, bed and breakfast or something, right? But look at all the awards after winning, look. 2020, 2015, 2016, 2019, 2014, look, and it goes on and goes on and goes on. So, that's obviously a great place to stay, my friends, if you're in Galway. Um, yeah. Look at all the swans down here, my friends. Hello, swans. I'm sorry, but I've no um, food to give you. I'm sorry about that. Are you all keeping well? It's a lovely and sheltered down here from the wind. Wow. I've never seen so many swans in one place in my entire life. Let me try and count how many I can see. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So kind of 22 swans there. Look at this thing here, it looks like a barge or something, isn't it? Wow. Very, very windy here, my friends. You have to remember where I am here now. Out here is Galway Bay, okay? The Atlantic Ocean is just out there, okay? I don't know if, don't know if it's picking up on the GoPro, but the hills or mountains you see across here is in County Clare on the other side of Galway Bay. And down that area is the famous the Burren, the Burren area, Cliffs of Moher, all over in that direction. Salt Hill 
is over along that coastal walk back there. That's another part of Galway here. And beyond that, you can go way out into, into the Gaeltucht area of Galway. Fantastic little villages and um, coastal villages and little beaches and stuff all out that direction. So I'm, going, I'm wandering back in here now around by the harbour here on Galway and um, just going a little walk about my friends. I've three sisters over here with me and they're doing their own thing down there in the middle of all the, the tourist people, right? So, yeah, pretty cool. This was once a, a shop obviously here, right? And someone has written over it, over it here, homes for all, right? Because it's vacant here, see? We have a huge, huge housing problem here. Huge, like. And um, someone's had to put in homes for all. Did you drop in pub right in the corner here? In Galway, my friends. What do you think? It's really tourist, isn't it? Uh, great place to come if you want. Nightlife or just, you know, just, you won't be bored here in Galway City, my friends. You will not be bored. There's so much to do, so much entertainment and everything in here and all these cafes and pubs and nightlife here in abundance. Lots of live music to be had in all these pubs around here, my friends. Right, it's amazing if, when you're walking around in cities or towns and villages and you see, watch out for these kind of information plaques here. Tells you about, you know, good, good stuff, good stories. This one is about a man called Tom Molino or something, right? 1784 to 1818. He was an African-American freed slave and boxer no, no, who no, contended no. the first ever war title fight in 1810 died here in the Shambles Barracks on the 4th of August, 1818. Wow. So there you go, my friends. Look at the swan here and her young, um, what, do you, what do you call a young swan? It's Sigrid, is it? Look. Hello. How are you? Are you well, yeah? He's having a good time over here on Galloway. Look at the stonework on this house here, on the wall. It looks great. It's not finished yet, but it looks great. This looks lovely along here, look. Absolutely lovely. I never walked up here before in my life, my friends. So it's a foot for me too, right? Just opposite Galway Cathedral. And I don't know whether this is a river an inlet or what it is here but anyway look at the little ducks hello ducks hello he is well yeah he's having a nice day there having a lovely swim yeah hello duck are you well yeah are you well good boy girl or boy i don't know what you are Definitely a great little place here for the ducks and the wildlife and the birds along here. It's 
So here's a cool um, little public park here, and just over here to my behind me here is it seems to be a public playground for all the family. And um, this is lovely, isn't it? Look, they mowed all here and left kind of wild parts. Look, left all this for the birds. Oh, that's not for the birds. They left all this for the bees. Look, isn't that fantastic? I love to see that, my friends. Love to see that. Um, right, we'll walk back down here, but I want to see can I go inside this cathedral if you're allowed into it, okay? So, this is Galway City, my friends. I know I'm not saying very much today. I don't ask me why, because <laughs> I can't explain to you why. I'm fairly few, few water today, my friends. So right here now, people, is the south campus of the University of Galway. So there's a map of the whole thing here, look. Pitches, running tracks, all the different buildings, all the different parts of it. Here's a beautiful footbridge here, modern footbridge, crossing over into the campus. So over here is the O'Donoghue Centre Drama, Theatre and Performance, in there. Right people, let's get a general idea here. This is Galway City University, right? That's only, that's one, um, what do you call it, department. Human Biology Building there, okay? So I'll head back in, in, into the centre of the town of Galway again, right? I don't know what these little pods were for here. For something anyway. As universities go with my friends, it looks pretty uh, modern and fancy. I have to say, I like it. I never actually got to total level education, my friends, but anyway, it doesn't stop me from consuming information, you know. But anyway, yeah, so that's, this is the Dublin City, Uni oh sorry, Galway City University. In Galway City, my friends. Now, isn't this just an absolute great idea? See the new wall along here that leads onto this modern pedestrian bridge, um, and they've got the flower bed on top of the wall here, look, on both sides, actually, if you look at it. And they have colourful plants and flowers in on top of the wall. Look, I mean, look at this, isn't that gorgeous? All beautiful, look, beautiful plants, beautiful. And then, it leads onto this, fantastic modern uh, pedestrian bridge here and look at this here they left a kind of a, a hole display here you can look into the river look nice feature now have a look at this bridge I think this bridge is super cool oh look it's leading a modern bridge leaving leading over to this old I don't know what you call that gothic or Victorian building over there Fantastic, and then this is cool here, the separation, you know, on the bridge, in the middle of the bridge. And um, just have a look at the big long seats they have here, look. So you can just sit down here on the bridge and chill, my friends. Oh, there's a lovely breeze coming in here now. Gorgeous. And just sit here and watch everything passing you by, like over here on this bridge here with all the cars going back and forth and the lights on the bridge and I can see through the bridge there, the arch there, the guy out, the angler out in the middle of the river fishing. And just generally people watching my friends. Oh, this is just lovely, lovely. Love this bridge, fantastic. Right, I think it's time to walk on again, people, back into the centre of the city. Um, Oh, I love that old building there, isn't it gorgeous? Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm absolutely seriously impressed with this, this pedestrian bridge here, the design of it, and what they've done all around here. 
it's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, my friends. But look at this building. Corrib House tea rooms and guest accommodation in here. Right people, just stopped here in the Corrib House um, guest house and accommodation just for a cup of tea and I got a, it's an almond and almond and cherry square. It looks nice doesn't it? And a lovely pot of tea. I'll let us know how much this has cost me when I'm going, okay? Right, people, see this place here? The Corrib, Corrib House Tea Room and Guest Accommodation, okay? Now, I'm after having a cup of tea and an almond sliced there. It came to about 6 50 which was grand, okay? Um, and I asked the girl, how much would it cost to stay there a night, right? 250 to 300 euros a night to stay in, the, in that house. Now, I don't know about you, but they'd want to have gold in their cornflakes in the morning for that price, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's booked out, right? It's booked out, right? Um, but, I don't know. I just think Ireland is a rip-off, my friends, you know, I really do. Yeah, so there you go then. Um, I don't know about you, you people, but I just think that kind of money is outrageous. I really do. 250 to 300 euros a night to stay in that, in that guest house accommodation there. Oh my God, rip-off Ireland, my friends, rip-off Ireland. Right, people, as you can see, um, I'm not really doing a, a comprehensive tour of Galway City because I'm here with my three sisters and we're just here for the afternoon so it's kind of like you know a day trip a fleeting visit to Galway so I just kind of giving you the sample of what it's like right if I was staying here myself I would do a more comprehensive um, tour around the city but you get the general idea I and mean, it's a real tourist town it really is lovely look at this you see look You'll see that everywhere in the city, like flowers, lovely, loads of bars and, um, you know, shops, cafes, all geared towards um, the tourist. Look at this, and this gorgeous, look, that's just lovely. Pretty cool, isn't it? Little touch on the pub. The hole in the wall. P. Fatty and Son established in 1880. So there's another pub. And it says here grocery, family, family grocery uh, and provisions merchants. Super cool pub, isn't it? Wow. 
cool, isn't it? So like, you can see kind of, it, 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 this is kind of a reflection of what all, all the pubs and bars and Galway would be like over here. You know, the real, real tourist attraction for sure, you know what I mean? Great to see, my friends. So want to get your hair done, my girl, uh, girls. Um, Senate hairdressing. Your specialist in colour. Colour specialist salon. So there you go, try it out, Senate. Even have a funeral home over here on Galby City. It's called Aaron's Funeral Home, established in 1834. I know something, people, they're that inundated that people are dying to use these people's services. Right, people are coming down here towards Air Square here now in Galway, which is obviously the real famous square here in Galway City. They spent years here, this place all dug up for years, redeveloping, it, redeveloping it, Air Square, but they have it all sorted out now, so we'll have a look. We'll wander through Air Square, right? As you can see, beautiful flower displays, boxes, and little benches for people to sit down on. And this sculpture here, right, I think is um, of the sails of uh, the Galway, I can't think the name of the boat, that's, uh, it's kind of known over here on Galway anyway, right? So the sails on that boat, I'll put it up in the video when, I, when I'm uploading the video, right? Uh, I can't think the name, name of the kind of boat and they have this, this type of sail, so I think that's representing that particular sail on this Galway type boat, if you know what I mean, right? And here's black and white photographs of Air, Air Square down through the years, look. Look, they must have used it for selling, look for trading, look all the cattle here. So they must have been selling cattle in the square here way back. And look at all the cars, look from the 1940s or 50s, look. All in the square. There's one of the archways coming into the square, or out of the square. Um, look at this here, trading in Galway Square. More cattle in the square. In times past, my friends, in times past. Right, we'll walk through the the rest of the square, it's just like trees and uh, green lawns and as you can see lots of people are just chilling out here and even the steps behind me here, you can just sit down in the steps here and just chill and people watch or just do what the people here are doing and just chill out and relax, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? This flare display here in Air Square. Do your heart good, my friends. Do your heart good. Beautiful. Right, my friends, see here, like this is a plaque to. John F. Kennedy, Fitzgerald Kennedy, and I didn't realize that he was here in 1963. And on this day, I happened to be here, it was the 29th of June, 1963. So 60 years exactly to this day, he stood here and he was given um, the freedom. He became the free man of Galway, right? In the borough of Galway, at this place on the 29th of June, 1963. So on this day, 60 years ago, John F. Kennedy stood here and was given the freedom of Galway. So there's one for the books for you, my friends. Uh, 
And listen, you know something about John F. Kennedy? Everybody puts John F. Kennedy up to be this kind of saint, you know what I mean? Super cool John F. Kennedy. But there's a book you should read. It's actually, I only have one, one, of, one of his books. An American journalist, right? And his book is called Caesars. And it's all about, he starts off, of course, with the very first American president. Um, right up to, I don't know whether it was Nixon or whatever it is. And then he had a follow-up book to it. But Kennedy... According to him, Kennedy like used um, the White House like, like as, as if it was a brothel. You know what I mean? Was out shagging everybody in sight. You talk about Bill Clinton and whatever, but yeah, that's that's not me saying this now. This is an American journalist saying it, right? So don't 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 put anybody up on the pedestal, my friends, right? Remember that. Right, people, for the time that he spent in doing up um, Air Square, right, to what it's like now today, uh, I have to say they've done a great job on it. Uh, I like it. It's not over the top, you know what I mean? It's lovely. Lovely place for people to co come into the city and chill. It's a buzzing place, my friends. It's a buzzing place. It really is like... Fantastic city to come to. Have a look at this mural on the wall over here, look. It's gorgeous. Another pub here, the home is saying the home of traditional Irish music, Kjol August Crack. So you're always going to have a great time over here in Galway, my friends, for sure. No question about it. Well, here's, here's the side alley of, a, of the shop on the main street there called Anthony Ryan Limited, established in 1909, right? We hear some funny, sorry, uh, some funny pictures on the wall here, look. Um, for women, right, behind every successful woman is a fabulous handbag. Life's too short to wear boring clothes. Keep your head, heels and standards high. Definitely selling to women, my friends. Only for women. Most of the shops in Ireland or everywhere else will be closed down. I'm telling you now, they're always buying, my friends, always buying. <laughs> Right, people, I'm back where I started, right? So uh, I hope you enjoyed that little quick walk around Galway City. And as you can see, it's a bustling city, full of tourists from all over the world come here, and they all leave saying they had a great time. Uh, great music, street music, and fantastic shop fronts and pubs and music. And if you're into the traditional Irish music in particular, this is the place to come, my friends. You'll get live music in the pubs. You'll, if there's no live music, you're definitely going to hear 
Irish traditional and folk music played and in, in, in all these pubs here in Galway City. Okay, so that's it my friends from Galway City. I have no idea where my next video is coming from, but um, it's going to come from somewhere, right? So stay tuned, stay tuned my friends, and um, stay tuned. People here looking at me, I feel a bit embarrassed, but anyway, fuck them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so stay tuned my friends, and press the notification bell to know when my next video will be uploaded. They're normally up on a Sunday about 5 p.m. or after 5 p.m. on a Sunday. So yeah, take care my friends, and I'll see you all in the next video, okay? Bye.